<laughs> He's gonna see my double piercing. Oh god. Does that hurt? Can I, like, is that something? Like, stop playing with it. Um, <laughs> don't play, don't play with your food. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes the kittens that will let you on it. All right. The kittens? Yeah, just the kittens. What's up, guys? This is officially my sixth episode of Me Time. I'm so excited to have my guest, Alex and Cover. <laughs> I've known Alex and Cover for quite a bit of time so far. Yeah, uh, I'd say two, three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Oh my gosh! I'm still not bored of that face. <laughs> no, I love you guys. <laughs> I miss you guys so hard. Um, I love your yeah. microphone etiquette. Really? What, what am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> See, Alex, Alex knows a lot about podcast. I feel like you're very good at well, podcast. It's a directional mic check. Just no, but point, when you had me, you like mouth. you knew what you were doing. Trust. <laughs> I, I just, I, I'm still learning, Alex. I believe in you. <laughs> you I'm too. So <laughs> if I can point it at your mouth. <laughs> you barely moved that oh microphone. My gosh. <laughs> How you been? Hey, can you stop touching the mic? Sorry. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I've been amazing. Yeah. I, I miss you guys a lot. You and, just moved in next to us. Well, I know because I miss you guys a lot. <laughs> um, and I'm so excited to hang out every single day. And we're going to the, go to the beach and have a lot of fun. And snuggle. Snuggle. Yeah, I've been doing that recently. I've been snuggling with a lot of my friends. So yeah. Can I can we, snuggle in between you guys if you want. <laughs> we can drink hot chocolate and sit by the fireplace. I'm down. And I've I just got all my stuff and the new house yeah. and I found all my Christmas stuff so I can't wait for Christmas and we're all going to celebrate Christmas together <laughs> <laughs> it's not even Halloween yet okay um, also Friendsgiving yeah we can do oh, a little Friendsgiving oh we want to do a Friendsgiving at our house oh we want to do a Friendsgiving at our house sorry <laughs> oh. yeah yeah it's, we're hosting yeah. it sorry yeah okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> who's what going <laughs> <laughs> no, but you you moved in. You you guys just moved in, right? Like October first. Yes. Second. I found out that you. I just got a random address from one of you guys' roommates. I go, hey, how close are we to each other? And I put it in my maps, and it, you're the neighborhood next to ours. And That's so, so funny. You weren't home, but I got on my motorcycle and just rode like up the street, and like you have armed security at your. I know house. it's insane. And you and pay you pay less than way less than us. Really? Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Vinny told me how much you guys pay, and I literally like Very good my price. jaw dropped because it's we pay four thousand dollars more than you do, and we don't even have as big of a house, a big of a yard, and we don't have a gate. That's insane. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> Why? Well, so I still love your guys' house. You yeah. Know, you've uh, been there. I've I've been like once or twice. Um, yeah. Yeah. You need to come over more. Though. I would love to. We literally, literally love to. live so close. You have no excuse now. You yeah, always have literally. an excuse. I want to I want to buy a golf cart. <laughs> I I'll, I'll oh, spot one with you. Wouldn't that be smart? That'd be fun to travel to each other's house That's on a golf cart. That's actually kind of right? smart. I mean, we could like go to like the restaurants and the little golf cart. In the go That'd be so Honestly, fun. Honestly though, that actually sounds <laughs> I'm going to buy a golf cart now. Yeah, do it. Oh Are my gonna, god. Can we can we get matching ones? Well, I don't I know would if we should get a golf cart seeing as like the last vehicle small vehicle got stolen from our house. It's fine. I'll you should keep it at our house. We yes, have a gated community. Stole my, I had a, remember my razor? I spent ten thousand dollars on a razor ATV. Remember the big like uh the big side by side I had? Mm -hmm. Someone stole Someone that. Someone just stole it. Where? It was parked. I just in front we, of us. where were we? We were in Nashville. No, we were at your sister's wedding. We were at my sister's wedding, and I came home, and I pull into the driveway, and I look, I'm like, I look, I go, where is my side by side? <laughs> and she goes, I don't know. And I go, I go to Calvin, I go, hey, because he was home. And I'm yeah. like, do you know where my $10,000 side-by-side -side is? He goes, I thought you took it. I go, why would I take it to a <laughs> wedding? He goes, I don't know. You do random shit. I go, no, someone stole it. He goes, really? You're with me. He thought I was pranking him the entire time. Oh, my God. That's, yeah. I'm sorry. And our security cameras didn't catch it. Yeah. What? No, no. My, our security cameras did catch it. Don't think about coming back. Why <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. would you say that? <laughs> what? Do you guys have anything else in your front yard? I'd love to come over and no. check it out. Off. You <laughs> no. No, I'm sorry. That's so annoying, though. So what's what? Do you, what do you got going on now? What are you? What are you um, I love how you're asking me questions now. I haven't seen you in <laughs> so long. I feel like it's mandatory. Mm. I've been getting into acting. Yeah. Love that. So much fun. And then. Uh, Hanging with a lot of friends, yeah. 
which I'm waiting to hang out with you guys. We have been going to Tuesday Saddle Ranch karaoke with you guys, which I feel like your whole group is like kind of like making a thing. Yeah. Um, karaoke and it's like fun. the pool and like so fun. It's I feel so like fun. I haven't seen you on the stage though. Oh, I, I see. When I was on stage, you guys were gone. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just guys, like right when we left, you went up. Yeah. Well, no, not not. So I was on cue. Yeah. Trust. Right. Um, but they didn't call her name. You know. That same thing happened to me. Yeah. I Hello? didn't get to. I, but I saw like eight dudes singing the same exact song over and over. And again. people came up to me. They're like, they called your name, Jack. And right. I was like. Did they whisper it? Like, I didn't hear my name <laughs> called. <laughs> I would have ran up to the stage and started singing. Yeah. Trust. But um, next week, we should all sing a song together. Please. You guys down? Yeah, I'd love, I love how you. Oh, sorry. I love how you're petting her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> why was I petting you? <laughs> I don't even think that's about that. That's so cute. And yeah, thanks, that's man. what brings us into talking about you guys' relationship. Sure. We can do a little couple therapy. Couple therapy? <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have trauma from a couple of therapies. Some people oh. used to do that for block bits. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that was you. <laughs> did I do that? Yes. Oh, I did do that. Yeah. Never mind. I don't have any trauma. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing? We're good. We're great. You guys look so, like, I feel like just so much happier. Yeah. So much happier. because we are. <laughs> yeah. And I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, and it makes me happy that you guys are happier. Thanks, you know, and Jack. that you guys are doing your thing and. Having so much fun, but I would love to be happy with you guys. There you go. And hang out with you guys. Yeah. So of course. We can all be happy together. Yeah. I, I like I've I really sort of liked uh, um like third wheeling recently for some reason. I don't uh, know why. Tell me more about that, please. Mm, I went on a road trip with two of my friends. Yeah. Very like very happy relationship. And I was like, I'm down to go. Like we took the Bronco and third wheeled like the whole time. Um, which like I wouldn't even call it third wheel because like it didn't felt like it, you know, yeah, it was, like you it was felt included you didn't Totally, right. it's so fun, yeah. which I feel like you guys are like that type of relationship that's so happy and fun where you can include Someone like me <laughs> <laughs> I feel a like you'd be wheel. a good third wheel though because you wouldn't make it like I feel like there's those third wheels who are like, oh my god, I'm third wheeling. I need a boyfriend. I need. Oh a no, girlfriend. Totally. I never bring up right. third wheel. But I feel like that's yeah. like the the whole. I think there's like a silent rule of third wheeling where you don't mention the fact that you're <laughs> third wheeling. Totally, it's very true. <laughs> it's so, once once it's you so go, this is so me. awkward. I'm third wheeling. Then it, it is awkward. You are third. Wheeling. It's so, you're like begging for attention. Right. Like, oh, <laughs> I don't want a girlfriend. <laughs> Like, I feel like no, you're just really a happy-go-lucky guy who would just go with the flow and do whatever. Thanks, Cover. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Are you are you looking at the current moment for a girlfriend? Like, what is it? Mm. For a relationship. I, I, I didn't like have the whole dating aspect in LA just because Cover and I met before all this. Yeah. And so I always, I was like knowing about people's like how it is dating in like Hollywood or LA because everyone talks about it in a different light. Totally. How how has that been for you? Because I, I'm very curious. Because yeah. you're a very much like a go go go, never want to settle down, never want to like chill totally. out type of guy. Yeah. And so like, I wonder what is that like? Does that work here? Yeah, and like I'm not I'm not looking for like a relationship at all. I think there are like some girls that like I think are cute, and then eventually like I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of LA mm-hmm. type girls that w- look. Have different intentions, you know. So like that's I'm very very careful with like dating in LA, and like I don't really have my priority priorities set on dating because I don't know. It's I feel like that takes up so much time because you guys already like know each other so like you guys are independent and like can do each, things on each other's own. But also I don't know. I feel like you guys are very healthy. I'm just not in the mindset to be yeah settling down and like. I mean, it's also great to just like work on yourself and figure out mm-hmm. what you want to do before you True. go and try and pursue a relationship Aren't and you get like, yourself in with someone else. Aren't you like 19 too? I'm 19. Yeah, yeah. you're young. <laughs> you <laughs> you must, yeah, you're young. Yeah. <laughs> I know, so I'm chilling. We're 22. We're like three years. <laughs> wow. 19. Three years older than you. <laughs> Math, holy shit. <laughs> Wait, I, are you 22? 22. Yeah, we're, you guys are both 22. I just yeah. turned 22 oh, like, what, uh, two weeks ago? Yeah. Oh my god. You don't wish me happy with that. That's literally so fake of me. I know. Ew, so LA of me. And followed you on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, did I actually not? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I, I, I understand that, you know, 
the feelings may have been lost or maybe you did send one and it's just, <laughs> it just, it, I have this thing where like I was updating my phone and like when I would send mm-hmm. text messages, like, like, Hey, I love you so much. Like sometimes it would just say not delivered. And I think it was cause like cell reception. Maybe it's just like lost in your inbox or something. Yeah. I probably sent like 10 texts and like, it just didn't go through. Right. That happens. Malibu dude, the, you, you've been on those roads where like Malibu PC, like no, you have no, no, service. no service. Yeah. There's also no, no service at our house. So maybe no you, maybe you're out front of yeah. our house. Yeah, no, no you came to house. wish me I happy I birthday came, I came and to your you house brought house. a present Yes, and you just couldn't text me. I, I had no like, idea you were out front. Yeah. Come outside. I literally camped out there for the night. No, and so I, I took your your razor. Sorry. <laughs> you fucking I was That's how he so. got home. <laughs> yeah. He didn't want to walk. What was I supposed to do? I, don't, I walked there. I don't want to walk back. Right, right. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, I'm wondering with, like, the, the gated community, like, I'm wondering, like, if we have a couple people over, like, how difficult do you think that's going to be? I, don't think it's difficult. I think it you, depends you on your neighbors. Because when I, when I showed up, I pulled up on yeah. the motorcycle and was like, um, what's your name? And like, as long as you give them a list ahead of time saying, Hey, we have these people coming, mm-hmm. he'll let them in as long as you see his ID. But like, I didn't awesome. know you had to have your ID. So I showed him my vaccination card. However, <laughs> if you are in an HOA, they might have rules. Mm. So I maybe I sure. should be a part of the HOA. And it really depends on your neighbors <laughs> be because our neighbors are all these like sweet little old people. That's right. Our neighbors are so f- nice. Yeah. So They're nice. all yeah. so sweet. And they yeah. like, when we first moved in, the boys were wheeling the motorcycles up and down the street mm-hmm. and they would come out to watch them. They wouldn't even oh. complain. They would just be like, oh my gosh, it's so cool that you guys do this. It's so cute. They're the best neighbors ever. That's awesome. I think, yeah, neighbors play such a big part in like your living situation, you know? For sure. Yep. Such a big part. And how enjoyable it is. Totally. Because if you, I mean, say you move to that house and you have like just total shitty neighbor, it could ruin your whole experience. But well, yeah, they probably. But now we're one of your neighbors. You are. Basically. Because <laughs> we're in like the same neighborhood, basically, right? We're, same we're on the street. same street. Okay. So how, what is it like going from being in a content house, going to a house like a family? Get your PR answer ready. it's just just very homey like everything is it's scaled down it's very like realistic and it just feels nice to be somewhere that's like not fast paced all the time Mm -hmm. and just like a glimpse of like a little bit of a normal life totally also you're with a bunch of people that just like I don't know all love each other don't talk about each other behind their back it's like very I don't know it looks very healthy to me you know and that's like that's what I love about my household too it's like it's just very healthy when we have a problem we'll all come and talk about it it's not like back and forth but you know that's what I like it's just very I think healthy. it's also easier to communicate with a smaller group of people totally. than it is to communicate with a big group of people I totally agree yeah you totally. got to think about it too is like when you have what what do we we had like 17 people at one point in the hype house oh my god that's like yeah problems waiting to happen so it's like you know? you know at the end of the day with with a big group of people that you made like you know i was only close with a certain amount of people in that home mm-hmm. and like you know there's going to be things that people do and and that not many people are going to agree with and it, it's definitely something that's an experience that you learn from but also totally kind of going to where we live now where it's like a smaller home that's like it's like an actual home it's cozy it's nice you know you don't have to like and as first world problem as this is like run around the house trying to see who's home it's like it was very cold yeah you know you, there was not like you kind of like you walked in it's like oh shit like this doesn't feel very welcoming like you mm-hmm. know whether it was totally. the people or the home itself and like our house you know we have dogs running around we have chickens like Hatching some eggs out of their ass. Like, we got cats oh, running around. It's of chickens. Yeah, we Good. have chickens. So, it's just, it's a fun thing where it's like, you know, you have like, we almost have like a little farm, but also like the people, everyone's home. You know what, who's home by like them, like what's going on. It's just like a nice, nice vibe. I feel like it's different to have your home feel lived in yeah. rather than staged for content. Yeah, oh, that's, that's totally. exactly what it is. Like, our home feels like people live there. Pe- yes, like, you walk totally. in and you can tell, like, Okay, it's not perfect. Mm-hmm. It's not completely clean, but it just like, I feel like it feels like warm and inviting totally, to people. Totally. Oh, I love that. How, what I would do you, love to come over more. I, when yeah. I went over you guys' house, I know you were just moving in, but you have your living room set up as a stage to perform, yeah. which was the funniest thing ever walking <laughs> into that house. That's the band room. Right. It's yeah. like right when you walk in, it's in the foyer. It's like, it's just, it's just a 
piano and guitars and everything. Right. And I'm like, wow, these. I walk up to Vinny's room. He's just got swords, his cat, <laughs> and then uh, like his gaming PC setup, and then like a bed, like a little mattress on the floor. That's it. I'm like, these guys are adults, and it's so cool <laughs> to see. That, like every single cool. bedroom I went in, apparently your mother <laughs> gave <laughs> yeah. them all twin size beds. So keep it. None of these guys have anything in their bedrooms except for a twin size bed, some magazines, a TV, and the most gnarly gaming setup I've ever seen in my entire life in each one of their rooms. Oh, it's insane. We it's like you guys spent all your money on the gaming <laughs> <laughs> and forgot that you actually have to live. <laughs> <laughs> it was the That's coolest so thing ever to see. Yeah, I think it's, especially just like any type of LA household, it's so. I don't know. I feel like there's so much like talent and like weird niches that people. I was right. I was just talking to someone about karaoke last night um, to one of my buddies, and we were like, everyone is so good when they go up on stage. Yeah. Like you know, I don't think you ever go to a karaoke night and people are like actually like good. I feel like it's all drunk, like horrible yeah, singing but, all the time. But like last night, I was like. <laughs> I'm like Loki's scared. Scary everyone was everyone's so like good. so good. Yeah, I mean, you insane. have to think too. Michael thought it'd be fun to invite all of our signed artist friends. Mm -hmm. So think of it like this: is every single signed artist that you can think of in LA that isn't a fucking A-list celebrity went. Yeah. And <laughs> so you have like all these kids who are on The Voice and on American Idol, and they're like, "Oh, karaoke, let's yeah. get drunk," and then they're like, "Ah!" It was just like <laughs> so fucking good. nuts. Everyone's like, oh, "This is beautiful." Like, right. yeah, it was so fun. Right. Oh. I think you could do it. All right, I'll try. We want to see you Honestly. on the stage. I would love to. I was. Like I wanted. Smith. I want to sing uh, "Stand by Me" last night. Oh. Yeah, we, we were supposed to with the. But then they didn't call you. They didn't call me. Hey, we'll oh. go first on Tuesday. That's what I. Thought. You did promise you would go first on Tuesday. Yeah, I promised Jamie I would. Cover, are you, are you not going to sing? No, I think oh I'm. I'm a really good cheerleader. Okay. I'll sit on the side and go. What's annoying? She <laughs> no, I think I've heard you sing she before. Cannot. This is the fact that I go. I have some bad stage fright. <laughs> you know how I know Cover's nervous for me is when she gets drunk. <laughs> like Stop. she, Cover this doesn't get drunk once. ever. Mm -hmm. And so when I have my when I have my shows, I literally this just look and time. she's like, "Whoa, <laughs> yeah!" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, she's nervous for me," which yeah. it doesn't make me happy because I'm now nervous that she's nervous. Oh, no, I just so needed cute. to warm up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to adjust to the crowd, okay? Uh, I need to blend with the crowd. I feel true. like I'd love one day for one of my like one of my shows just to bring Jack out and have him sing "Stand by Me." I feel like that'd be the best. Thing ever. <laughs> I'm I'm perfect. Done. Let's do it. And you hit him with a small. The cover has to do it with me. Yeah. Right, then cover. it won't happen. No, you have to. If I'm going up, cover, you go come up. on. Is that. I did not sign up for that. <laughs> cover. Yeah, you did. You started dating me. Yeah. But that no. Yeah. <laughs> Trust. Um, no. Hey, what's in your fridge? Is it just a bunch of G Fuel and Red Bull or what? <laughs> like, what, what? I have you a guys of, forget to get food? Oh. Um, One of your roommates okay. last night was talking to Tabitha and said that you guys needed soap and toilet paper, paper towels, <laughs> cilantro randomly. Oh, wow. <laughs> he said you need cilantro. Cilantro, wow. I love cilantro. What do you wipe your ass with if you don't Cilantro. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, getting into singing. Yeah, sure. Alex, how's all the music going? You're so talented oh. and amazing. Thanks, man. It's like 80% auto tune, but I appreciate it. Shut oh up. my God. No, no it's not. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's good. I, I signed to Atlantic Records six months ago, I think now. That's I'm so working awesome. on my album. I have a song coming out in like a few weeks, which is cool. Woo! It's Chasing Shadows, I believe. Oh my gosh. Can, can you send me a sample? I've sent it to you before. Ugh, no, you haven't. Uh, maybe it got lost it, with the birthday. It just didn't get <laughs> yeah, delivered. Okay. <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's why, okay. Right. The because I sent you the birthday text that day, and then you right. sent me a sample. And maybe we just both totally, didn't get there. Yeah, there might like the power lines must have been mm. not working or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or you didn't pay your cell phone bill. That's what it was. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Totally. I love that every time I do something, I get a text from Joy. Your mom. <laughs> I love your mother. Jack's mother is probably oh, the so sweet. sweetest lady in the world. She is. Every time we love you, Joy. I post a TikTok and she'll send me my TikTok and go, so proud of you, honey. And I go, yes, Joy. <laughs> like, I, I love oh. your mother so much. Oh, I love her too. Thank she's you. so sweet. She's, she's like a sweetheart. She's like the dream mom. Right. Oh, my um. God. She's awesome. A little, little Alabama. Right. Raise. Do Sweetheart. they? Do your does your audience know how you and your mother, like, and your mother and your father met? 
Um, it's such a cool story. I don't know. Have I ever talked about it? Well, thank you for asking me that question. Um, <laughs> uh, so they both went to the Naval Academy. Um, so they both watched Top Gun when they were younger and fell in love with like planes and went to air shows. Uh, and they went to the Naval Academy. Um, they had like one interaction at the Naval Academy. Um, this was my dad. My dad was walking by. My mom had just watched an icicle shatter her windshield. And um, my dad's like, oh, that sucks. And they just kept on walking. And that was their first interaction. Um, and then they became roommates in flight school. So um, I think it was going to be a group of guys. And then my mom came. And then they all became, like, roommates. And my mom was also... Uh, he was engaged. She was engaged with another guy, so I'm like banker with like no chin, and <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm learning like, details about the story. I didn't. Know. Know. I had no chin. What's yeah. a banker? Um, a banker. A banker. Yeah, banker. What do you call it? accountant? Banker. Accountant. One of those. Yeah. Um, and uh, she like fell in love with my dad, um, and they got married really quick. And don't worry, she didn't cheat. She did not cheat on her. I don't think Joy's capable of cheating. No, not at all. She made sure it was, like, separate. You know? She's so pure. <laughs> yeah. Separate. Yeah, well, it, well, it was just the sneaky link, you know? Right, right. 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 <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. Um, but, yeah, very cute story. And they both flew F-14s and F-18s in the Navy. Um, my mom was the only woman on an aircraft carrier when she flew planes and stuff. I'm terrible at ter telling the story. But we love I love the story bitch. because it's, like... Yeah. I don't know. I, I think like the whole idea of like two parents or sorry, what the fuck am I saying? Two significant others meeting like in the cause of kind of like flying planes and jets right. and, like so crazy in the naval They're academy. It's kind of fucking asses. nuts. Yes. It's I mean, kind of like Top Gun was inspired totally. like by them. That's <laughs> oh. when I hear that story. But yeah, they, um, yeah, they loved it. And my dad still flies for UPS. Um, and he's still, that's still cool. Loving. Yeah. Do you get like, f like flight, like, do you get free flights sometimes or, like, uh, special privileges or stuff? Um, we can, like, you can definitely, like, what's it called, jump seat or something. I honestly have no idea. But we have taken, like, a UPS plane to, like, Alaska. And, like, really? So, yeah. That sounds so fun. Like a big, big plane. Big That's cargo sick. plane. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, they're awesome, and I'm so glad to have them as parents. Yeah. James, oh. James is in college still? Yes. Um, when, have, when was the last time you guys talked to James? I haven't talked to James in a very long I time. Haven't, I haven't seen him I still him forget so you long. have a twin sometimes because I haven't seen him in so long. I know. That's so sad. I know. I miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. We met you. T like, Cover is the one the reason you two came to Hype House. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And then meeting you two, I you guys you were guys. like a ball of energy <laughs> that I had never seen before. Keep in mind, Jack is like the human embodiment of a golden retriever. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank he you. just comes in with like a smile like that and stuff. <laughs> and your brother matched your energy but had like kind of like a cocker spaniel vibe to him. When you guys first and came over, <laughs> you were, your little button down shirt, yeah. right. you looked so proper. You guys looked like proper Mormons at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. No, but it was it was something really interesting where like it was kind of like we were hitting a, a moment where we had seen so much fakeness in LA, or at least kind of like not fakeness, but you know, you were playing the game. You were you were filming with a bunch of people you didn't really know, getting to know people that you may not have liked, mm -hmm. putting on a face of, of whatever. And you guys come in with all this ball of energy. I'm like, whoa, dude. <laughs> that's it was refreshing. Nuts. Oh. Yeah, that's really what nice. it is. It was like two real people. Very refreshing. Thank you, Cover. I should, thank you guys for. I mean, thank you for finding us and having, like, faith in us, you know? I feel like that's so much, uh, like, trust and, like, faith when you just bring random people to, like, L.A. to go visit your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which, like, you guys were doing, but, like, thank you guys for trusting in us. and Always in front We of believe us. in you. Thank you. I, I will just, always believe in you. You guys are, um. You're too good not to. Oh, stop. Stop it. In the house, you guys are just so welcoming and sweet and. Um, always there for James and I and yeah, it was like I don't know you guys were definitely like a breath of fresh air too Aww. To James and I. Yeah, thanks James <laughs> We paid him we to say that, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying You did No, I'm just kidding <laughs> um, <laughs> Shit, wait, what mm. college does he go to? He's at Stanford Yeah, he's a That's smart James. man That's James, I forget He's a smart Stanford, man yes. smart Thomas man. is at Yale 
and I met Tarzana. <laughs> do you ever regret not going to college? No. Is it was it just not something you wanted to do, or what was like the whole situation um, there? Like, what made you be like, hey, you know, maybe this isn't for me? Actually, like, I was I was never good at showing up to school. Mm-hmm. Wait, you were an makes... hour late to this podcast. I don't <laughs> yeah. doubt. Keep in mind, he was an hour late to his <laughs> own podcast. <laughs> yes, yes, you know. But also, it was a it was a good night. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. were there. <laughs> No, I'm I'm catching a cold. If you guys can't tell, so sorry. It's okay. For being late, so selfish. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're being pick me right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? We were talking about James. Why you, why you didn't, didn't go, go to college. college? So I didn't go to college because I feel like life was just pushing me towards like I don't know, influencing and in like TikTok and yeah. social media. Um, I was so like set with, on like pole vault and academics, and then uh, you guys hit us up, and then um, oh, we're the so we ruined didn't it. Go to college. Yeah, thanks, you guys. <laughs> thanks. Sweet. Look at me now. Yeah. Um, no, no. I'm so glad I'm like I took this path. I would would much rather be doing this than anything else. I mean, it's a really cool job. It's also something where like, do you? It's difficult, I think, in the way of, like, it's a very easy job depending on how you take it, but it also can be the most mentally stressing one because totally. you're constantly putting your personality out draining. as a... Mm-hmm. Like, you're putting yourself out to be judged. Whether they like you or don't, that's your brand. How mm-hmm. likable you can be as a person. So, Alex and Cover, you guys have been in this industry for quite a bit of time now. Um, what was your rise to fame? How did it start? How did you guys meet in the process of it? I want to know all the tea. Do you want to answer? I mean, well, I never thought that I would be doing this. I, like, wanted to work with kids. And then when I moved to California and lived with Alex, I got a job as, like, a little daycare camp counselor type of vibe. And when Alex quit his job, he tried to get me to do social media. I had to talk you into it. You had to she force me to do, do it. it. I did Even not want to do it. Even to this day, I feel like I'm talking you into doing it. I feel like you'd be totally <laughs> fine not picking up your phone again and filming a video. But just the funniest thing ever is because, like, a lot of people like are think like a lot of my content would be like a scripted thing, and like none of us are really like this. But it's funny because she doesn't want to do this, so it's mm-hmm. it's just me putting a camera on her whenever. Like something funny is happening between us. <laughs> so it's like, it, it's but really that's interesting. What, that's what makes it so like authentic too. You I, know? I wouldn't say I don't want to do it anymore. What Then what would you call it? Because I have to tell you to make a TikTok. <laughs> no. It's like, oh, what'd you do for the last two weeks? I hung out with the dogs. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just waiting for the right idea. No, and, and I love that. I love that. And we're still waiting. She, yeah, but you, you love, like, the things that most people, like me, kind of not neglect in a way, but kind of fail to understand the importance of, in a way. Where, like... I feel like I like simple things. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. it, it's, very, person. it's very yeah. much like you could be wrapped up in a Snuggie, laying on the couch, watching, you know, totally. Game of Thrones, and then, like, spending eight to ten hours training the dogs to do something and you'd be totally fine. I could also totally. live in a van in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. She's just very much like on the go, <laughs> like on the flow, like whatever you I want, it. I'm game for, which I love because it's kind of like, hey, I with my job, like I have to go to Nashville and like tomorrow and, and, wow. and cut vocals for like 48 hours. And she's like, let's go. We'll pack it up. I'll find someone to watch the dogs. And it's, it's cool because it's kind of like almost like we're doing it together, That's which is awesome. like I could not do any of this without her by my side, which Aww. is the most important Aww. thing to me. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't trying to be cute. I was being serious. <laughs> like, <laughs> I genuinely, I'd probably go insane in an Just Airbnb in, 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 in Nashville for 48 hours. And Aww. like, I don't know. <clears throat> you, you know everything. You're an insane. Oh, my God. She's insane at cooking. But. No, when we started, it was something where I had been doing this since I was like 11. And then I started posting singing videos and when I was like 15, and, and it didn't really do that well. And then when I turned 17 or 18 and I got kicked out of my house, I was living in a car, and Cover and I had met over Snapchat just before that. And I was like, you know, move out here. You know, I, I, mm-hmm. I don't have, I don't have, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I have a place to stay, yada, yada, yada. And she's like, okay, cool. She comes out. I'm like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm sleeping in a car. She's like, 
fuck it, let's do it. And so was she was fun. just on the flow, ready to go, like kind of yeah. like I was just filming these videos and she was totally game for it, which was just really cool. And we after like maybe two months, we, we started blowing up, which was really cool. And it was my vlogs and then it was the videos with Cover and those both were blowing up at the same time, which was just even cooler. And I incorporated music into it later, and, and it's which is funny, my first singing video was with Cover that blew up. So it's kind of cool oh. that, like, you know, we, we started this. Yeah, on the toilet. <laughs> we started this together. That, yeah. yeah, it was at the second hype house. Yeah. I was singing, uh, like, it's baby, you're like lightning in a bottle. Yes. And she, oh. like, chimed in. It was cool. It's so cute. Yeah. Yeah, I f***ing love Yezger's relationship. Yezger's it's, just, so... it's just chill. Like, I feel like the, the, the whole thing that people like about it is, like, like yeah, Cover like, gets in these crackhead moods sometimes, but it's also something where we don't really need to put up like a front like we could totally we, we can be I, ourselves and yeah completely fine. like there's that. not like some like gimmick you know it's kind of yeah. just like oh i'm i'm me and she's her and, and and there's nothing really much to it there's no like oh special thing that we have to do to like get totally. the views and i think that's why that's why it's so i don't know <clears> that's why it does so well because it's like it's very authentic and i don't know when i look at your videos i know exactly i don't know how you guys are or is the same on camera you know it's it's yeah. very very authentic which i love about you guys on. you guys can always just be yourself what what's like your dream like significant other like i always feel like i don't know your type hmm. <laughs> like what what's like what's like the one let's say i'm walking up to you on the street what are the three things you're looking at to um, be like hey this person is someone i want to get to know more uh someone who Loves to travel, okay. loves to like do stuff. Is like very easy. So I guess that's like how what like you guys kind of have. Yeah, spontaneous. Spontaneous. Mm. Yes. Um, like an amazing sense of humor. Mm. Like, like, yeah. It's so like I don't know. Very high. What do you call it? Like just. What do you call it? Like, Stoned. <laughs> <laughs> very like someone very quick witted and like smart. Like oh, someone who's like, who can improvise very well on humor yes, as well. Okay. Yes, totally. I, oh my gosh, I love it. Um, and then also, yeah, someone who's just very. I think one of my big like green flags is when, uh, when girls are like nice to their friends. You can tell like, what type of person they are. Like yeah. when when girls are like assholes to their friends, um, I'm like. Yeah, that she. This is not the right person because, like, you know what type of person yeah. they are. Very like, I don't know, backstabbing, competitive. Like that's why I always look at how they treat their friends, which is I feel like. I think sense though. That's an interesting aspect too. I don't really do that, which is like kind of like I feel like so interesting. Definitely. I mean, people do say that like the people that you surround yourself defines you. Totally, you are. Yeah, you are who you surround yourself with. Are you a gamer? <laughs> I have a game right now for us. What is it? It's called Two Truths and One Lie. Oh, God. Okay. Do you guys want to play? Yeah, It'll sure. It'll be really fun. Okay. I mean, do we have a choice, Jack? No. Okay. But <laughs> so play. it's a rhetorical question? Yeah, well, yeah. You yeah. just to say, yes, oh, I'm down. Of course right. we'll play. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're so I love excited. This energy. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, I'll go first. So, come back. Um. So, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Two truths and a lie. Hmm. I'll do it like out of order. Sure. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nipple piercing. Okay. Okay. Um, I, when I was little, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. Um, and I never graduated high school. I'm gonna go with the last one. Is yeah, the, lie. the last one's the li the lie. Because Unless you, you I, I know you we have. We like watched piercing. you graduate high school too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Just no. And your parents are fighter pilots. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd assume that, that one was gonna be a good one. <laughs> you see my nipple piercing? Oh gosh. Does that hurt? Can I like? Is that something? Like, stop playing with it. Um, <laughs> don't play. Don't play with your food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes the kittens that will like chew on it. All right. The kittens? Yeah, just the kittens. You don't have a <laughs> kitten? Nah. Yeah, like the kittens. Like, I'll go see. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where? Like the, Where do you see kittens? There's a kitten that uh, my friends have. And then when I went to Oregon, someone had a kitten. And while I was asleep, it was like chewing on it. It's so cute, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's why Did I have a Did you allow piercing. the kitten to chew, chew huh? on your nipple piercing? Yes, it was consensual. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Your sound guy's like, what the f***?
do I, what am I doing? I came to LA, like, you know, <laughs> this is not Brad Pitt. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I totally, um, I totally think you guys should get matching nipple piercings. No. Really? I don't think I could do that. My nipple couldn't do it. He'd no, like that's, no. trust me, that's what I thought of. That and my kittens probably would say no, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> They'd be like, no. no, we heard about that Jack Wright fucker. Your kittens did not say that to me. I promise okay. you they said it. Um, <laughs> no, it's like, it's so fun. And it's like a little party trick. Didn't, didn't yours get, like, infected, What? Though? Yeah, I remember. Yours <laughs> How is that fun? The, the second time it hurt so bad because, like, the scar tissue. But it was, like, a good You're hurt. really good at selling this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're really making me want one. No, totally. And, like, you can get, like, hoops. And then you could get one connected to like your you ear piercing. You should get a dangly one. Should I? Like a sparkly one? No, because then we're going to be at karaoke now. He's going to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> going back and forth. All right. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm going to start like, you know, like um, from Mean Girls, where yeah. Regina George like, would cut little holes in your nipples. I'm going to start doing that. I just like I'm trying to show that. off my nipple piercing. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, Regina George. You should definitely cut a hole in your shirt just so that your nipple piercing is yeah. like an accessory. Right? That's, so it's fun. That's what it's but for. I love how you have your nipple pierced, but not your ears. Oh, I know. Because it's too, like, basic. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. I love, I love your ear piercing. You just jump <laughs> straight from, <laughs> straight into, straight into nipple. Yeah, I had to. I can go. You want me to go? You can go and then I'll go. Um, I once had a hole in my intestine and almost died. Wow. I've been shot and almost died. And... Elon Musk once won winked at me. Leaving while I was leaving Boa, Elon Musk once winked at me. I did see Elon Musk leaving Boa, so I feel like that one's a truth. And I wouldn't. I feel like he totally would wink at an attractive man like you. <laughs> um, so I, I feel like that one's a truth. Okay. Uh, you had a hole in your intestines. Mm. Like which intestine? The big one. The big one. Yeah. Oh, okay. That one's a lie. What do you think? I know the answer. Okay, what's the answer? Elon Musk did not wink at you. Correct. Oh. <laughs> the last one. Elon Musk did. I, oh, so, so you I did this see him. So you do have a whole I'm a, I don't fanboy about a lot of stuff. I'm leaving Boa, and all I see, I'm like, who is that? Because paparazzi surrounded by him. It's just Elon Musk. Yeah, with the sun. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I'm like, I'm like I, I sat there for a good minute. I was like, I know. It's like, it, it, what's funny is he pulled he up in an fake. old Tesla. Like, was I know, old Tesla. I know. He didn't even have the new one. Yeah. But I was just like, you're the owner of that. And like, yeah, I've never seen him in person, but like, yeah, in person, I was like, he looks fake. Yeah, he looks like doesn't he looks like a robot? He literally yeah. looks like an AI generated robot. Yeah, and he like t I heard his laugh, and I swear to God, it was programmed to do that. <laughs> but no, I, w I had a hole in my intestine when I was five years old, and that's why I was held back. I'm uh, sorry. And I don't know how it happened. I just remember faking sick one day to not go to school, and then I was taken to the doctor, and all of a sudden they tried to give me shots and took me somewhere, and I was like, oh, so I was actually sick, and turns out I started vomiting blood, and I was like, thank God I faked being sick this day. And then wow. uh, I was shot when I was 16 with a 177 grain caliber uh, rifle, but which is a hunting will. rifle for deer. And it was a friend of mine's dad who did not know the gun was loaded. And he, I was filming a vlog and thought it'd be funny to uh, go run. And so I ran and, and him not knowing it was loaded shot me. It was an accident. Yeah. Do you think you were like a deer? <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, okay. I've broken my mom's nose. I oh. I wanted to be a doctor when I was little, and I got held back in third grade. I'm gonna guess the doctor. When yeah, doctor here. when you were little. I know you've broken your mom's nose because you told me about that, and so did your mother. And <laughs> it, being held back in the third grade would make sense. So what's the lie? The 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 doctor. The doctor one. No, I didn't. No, I did want to be a doctor when I was little. I did. No, you didn't. No, you I didn't. did because <laughs> my grandma told me I think that if confused. I was a doctor, <laughs> she would buy me a nice car. Oh really? So I wanted to be a doctor. Oh, no, I don't okay. think so. Yeah, no. I didn't get held back. Are you sure? I've never gotten held back. I'm gonna gaslight her until she knows. <laughs> <laughs> Text my mother. Remember, this is not what you said to him. Yeah, look. No, I've never been held back. Okay, we'll just agree I did break my mom's nose and I did want to be a doctor. How'd you mm. break your mom's nose? Um, I loved Kim Possible when I was little. <laughs> and I, I was pretending to be Kim Possible. My mom was laying down in her bed and I was just jumping around. Mm -hmm. 
and I jumped up really high and brought my heel down <laughs> and my heel hit like the bridge of her nose and cracked her nose. I was like five. Oh my gosh. So No, but when you when you break your nose, it's like a free nose job. So. I was like not allowed to watch Kim Possible. You know what? We need more people like you who like the right <laughs> side of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was a little traumatizing, oh, but I'm yeah. Sorry. And then I only wanted to be a doctor because my grandma said that if I was a plastic surgeon and did her plastic surgery, that she would buy me a car. Mm. So I said, okay. Well, she didn't buy you a car. It looks like I was never a doctor. <laughs> That's the type of guy where someone's like, oh, he's in an, a medically induced coma, and he's like, at least. His sleep, his sleep cycle resets. <laughs> like, like, you're the type of guy to just oh, find the bright side of it. You're like, you know, he's been complaining he's about his insomnia, so. so. <laughs> well rested. <laughs> Beauty sleep. <laughs> Your TikTok would be like kissing them, trying to wake them up. <laughs> if I was ever in a coma, could you guys like keep my TikTok account going? Yeah. For me. Well, I just you. post your toes. No, yeah, totally. Totally. Make sure my... <laughs> Find a brand deal, it'll pay yeah. for surgery. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, my God. And I want to get tattoos on my toes that says... Oh, my gosh. Dogs. You could go Maybe a little to sleep and be in a coma and then wake up fully tatted. Oh, my God. Be you wouldn't so be, ab- be able to, like... I mean, maybe you could feel it. I don't know how that works. Probably not. But, like, would you remember? You wouldn't You're remember the one who wanted to be a doctor. Did I say I was a doctor? <laughs> yes. No. That's why I'm saying it's cap. I don't know how this <laughs> stuff works. So, okay, this is what we're going to do. You're going to jump in the bed, break my nose, I'm going to be in a coma, and then I'm going to get my beauty sleep. You're going to tap me because I know you're good at tattoos. We can, like, and give you a full body sleeve. I am so And then down. you wake up a completely new person, well-rested. Yes. and it's not Energetic. Like, like, my parents wouldn't be mad because it's like, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Cover was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> do you have tattoos? I have two steak and pokes on my butt cheek. Okay. He has a little anchor on his butt, remember? Yeah. No. For the, oh. for the military. He showed that Did so many times. It? No. Oh. It's in support of my dad and mom serving in the Navy. Yeah, I bet uh-huh. they love that butt cheek yeah. tattoo. Uh-huh. <laughs> they did. Yeah, they did. I do, I do want to get, like, something to cover those two on my butt cheek. They they look pretty cool, but, like... You just got two Pokemon. Two Pokemon. Yeah. Ooh, I'm down. Or you could tattoo your toes onto your butt. Whoa. I like that. Don't Should give them those ideas. Bro. <laughs> right. He's gonna do it. Trace it. Um, <laughs> trace my like toe. your toe print. Yeah, I like that. That'd be so <laughs> like your good. Thumb print, but your can I toe? do my toe print on your um, calf? <laughs> nice save. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys were on this podcast with me. It was so fun. It's so here. fun. And I feel like we could just talk forever and ever, which we will yeah. when I come over. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. I love you guys. And is there anything you guys would like to plug the handles? Go stream headlights. Stream headlights. Yeah. Stream headlights. Do it. Go do that. Awesome. Also, Cover and Alex are making a joint OnlyFans. So (laughs) make sure you guys go subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. (laughs) That's when I get dropped by my label and I can't afford it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so that's it for another episode of Me Time. Thank you, Alex and Cover, for joining me. I love you guys. Let's hang soon. Um, make sure you go like and subscribe to Pass Your Bedtime. New episodes drop every Monday. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Woo.